Hello guys, uh, today we are going to tell you how to calibrate this uh, GC1211 controller. How to set up things according to our wiring in this controller. So uh, we have again repaired this controller. This has come to us as a bad one. Uh, this was white screen. And now we have repaired it and it is working well now. We have tested it and, uh, at our bench and now it is working well. So uh, we need to input 12 volt supply to it in order to power it on. When it is powered on, then uh, it will display all these parameters here. This is showing the circuit open oil pressure because we have not connected any sensor uh, sensor input yet. So that is why it is showing open. And now, and now uh, we are going to tell you how to enter to this configuration mode, setting mode, programming mode, whatever you say this. Press these both keys to enter uh, to go for some time and press start for write mode and thus then input 0123 as password and you will be there in programming mode and uh, this is module firstly uh, this the general setting display settings and communication settings are there there this, are, this is not much used unless until you want to um, change the brightness level of the display and other things yes inputs are there it is important uh, input you need to uh, this is about like uh, we 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 need to uh, set wiring of our dg either our uh, dg wiring should be in accordance with this controller program or our controller program should be in accordance with our dg wiring yes so uh, moving on further uh, dig in a uh, at, you know we will we, we can configure these are the uh, these are the inputs it is written on the back side of the controller dig input a b c no d e whatever we we want to configure at input one a we can configure it here it is by default it is low fuel level switch at b it is uh, emergency stop like we we wanna change this to some other setting we will press start once again and we, we wanna configure water level switch here then we can do it by moving up and down also uh, uh, we, we we should leave it here with emergency stop only and moving ahead of it in the same in the same way in dig in c we can do this in dig in d we can do this e f and lop sensing temperature sensing these inputs we can either enable or disable them like if we don't need temperature sensor the uh, see uh, we have disabled it earlier by default it is not disabled you can use it if you want to use this then you should move this analog in engine temperature yes we have configured temperature setting also now in the same way we can check outputs but you know at what port what command we are expecting you know to deliver to dg this controller so at output uh, a is disabled by default c goes to the start relay 12 volt supply whenever we uh, press start for cranking and at c whenever engine stops it will go to stop cell light at d it was uh, it will hold the contactor gen set contactor in E, it will uh, hold this mains contactor same way. Yes, and uh, this is how we can configure these uh, ports. Timers are there. Cranking timer and general timers are there. We can set our timers here. Then it is generator, alternator configuration. We can number of poles, phase, whatever phase we want to select. Is it our DG for single phase or three phase? We can change it from here. Let it be three phase for now and come out. Then voltage monitor, frequency monitor, current monitor, load monitor. We can change these settings here. Volt monitor, under voltage shutdown alarm. We can we can change these alarms, right? So now we can change these settings here. And mains in same way we can configure this according to our DG requirement, right? And then moving on to engine, we can monitor battery over at at you know if the battery voltage comes to low then what indication will come will it be a warning will it be a notification will it be complete shutdown this uh, type of alarm and this is at whenever the threshold voltage goes uh, battery voltage goes below than 8 volt below, below the 8 volt then in, engine will uh, automatically give a shutdown command and stop after 30 second delay right you know you can see it here in the same way you can configure you can see other parameter yourself and come to know uh, come to an uh, conclusion and maintenance is there 
not much use governor settings are there you know you can you can you can see your governor settings whatever governor uh, whatever type of governor are you using you can set it here id engine id is there active profile you can change finally you can change a profile if you want to get to an if you want to uh, you want to run this at a 10 kV genset at a 12.5 kV at a 15 kV genset. This uh, this uh, controller supports a, uh, uh, up to 82.5 kV generators from 5 kV. So this is its, uh, its range of supporting. So if you want to come out, then press start again, uh, stop again, and press these both keys and come out of it. So yes, uh, we have successfully repaired it and uh, you can see this all all the data here in the controller is now zero you know like running hour and all this all these are flashed you can freshly install it and reuse it thank you